I made a dummy for Jesus' resurrection. And I referenced this book. A Pop-Up Guide to the Galaxy by Matthew Reinhardt. And I copied or I mimicked this mechanism. Matthew Reinhardt also has a tutorial on this mechanism. But in his tutorial, these two pieces are in the same direction, so they go both upward. But for this one, they go in opposite directions. But my mechanism is just uh, the opposite uh, a mirror side of uh, this mechanism. I made a, another dummy first, and uh, I had the length of the whole body. This, uh, the full height of this mechanism but uh, then I found that uh, when I glued on the head because the head is another piece and uh, because um, this piece uh, goes to here uh, when I close this shut the head tends to um, go in a position that uh, it won't open in this same direction again so I cut the whole body a little bit shorter so the glue tab is midway on this piece and so is the, the, the leg or the bottom just like here and here so this centerpiece can go all the way the full length of uh, these two pieces I made two other arms before this one in the length of a normal person that is just uh, the lower arm plus uh, the hand but I found that uh, since uh, you can't fully open uh, a pop-up piece as I said in many other um, uh, videos before so you have to spare some length you see when it fully opens the length is like this, but usually you won't fully open it. And I think I have to cut uh, this slit a little bit uh, a little bit inward. You may think that I glued this the the body a little bit slanted, but in fact, it is vertical. But I just cut out I uh, kind of snip away this corner because when it closes. It will clash with the base page and just like uh, the image here it is also slanted at an angle there's also one more piece to support um, the body and also act as uh, a uh, there's a uh, one part going out as uh, the the hand when I decided the position of this piece this supportive piece so I decided it here um, and think that uh, that would be uh, about uh, this um, the position of the arm of a person. Then I decided the position of the waist about midway of the body here and folded it up but don't fold this part because you, after you made uh, this fold, then close the whole piece shut, then this crease will form naturally. Now I have to dismantle this dummy to transfer the positions and the dimensions. I doubled up the left hand because um, it tends to crease at the position of the slits, so I have to strengthen it. There's a notch on the headpiece so that it can fit on the shoulder and uh, this part is supposed to be connected to this piece. I've already traced the shape of the headpiece but since I don't want to uh, uh, um, color such a large area so I've also traced uh, this part 
and uh, I will glue this piece on like this. I didn't realize that, that I had already marked the dimensions of the body piece until just now I dismantled it. So these are the measurements, but it should be the other way around. This is the head area and this is uh, the slits for, uh, for the left arm. And this is the notch the, for the right arm. So the mechanism is basically like this. You prepare two pieces of rectangles um, of the same size. You cut away a wedge and then measure a right angle. And make a fold here and remember to have glue tabs as well like this one and when I made the dummy I found that the more slanted this wedge is the more vertical this right angle crease is and when you glue it on the base page this crease will move more towards the central gully and the whole image has to move more to the central gully and it may clash with the with the base page when you close it. So that means it's better to have this wedge cut away more vertical and then this crease will be more slanted and then the base uh the, the image will can be able to move a little bit uh away from the central gully. This is especially important for this pop-up because I have to add the head and if then this crease if this crease is more toward the central gully then the head has to glue like this and chances are that it will clash with the base page. As I said just now, the body has to be midway, that is 2cm away from the top and bottom and so is this piece and the bottom piece so it will be glued like this so some part will stick out after I close it shut but I'll um, cut them away after I glue the whole pieces down. From the dummy that I made, you can see that this piece has to be glued 5.5 cm from the top. So I also marked uh, the 5.5 position. It will be glued like this and the height of this is of course 2 cm. That is the same as the height here and the bottom piece. And from my dummy, I find that uh, the body has to be about one and a half cm away from the gully. So I marked the one and a half cm distance. And also for the body piece, there has to be a, a, a notch here so that the right arm, the right arm can stick out like this.
I aligned this fold with the line that I marked just now and then put glue on this side of the tab and close it to see if it can close properly and I will do the same for the uh, for the piece down under now for the center supporting piece the at the waist there's a small notch here so that this arm can move for more freely here and this edge almost aligns with this 1.5 cm line here so I'll glue this first this glue tab first and then glue the body and this tab will glue on the body also when I made this piece I made a glue tab here as well but it is unnecessary so I snipped it away actually This piece, this whole part should be glued on the body. So it's already a glue tab. Now the piece is closed shut like this. I made a crease around this position that is about 5.5 cm from here. And then I close it. And this crease will form natu naturally. But I think this one is, um, I have to snip away the, this, uh, some, some more of this part away. Like this. And I'll glue this arm underneath like this. And the head like this. I shouldn't have made a fold here. That means the fold should not extend to the arm area. It should just be this part. And I've also snipped away the part stinging out from these two pieces.